Picking which solar panel to use in your solar installation may be the single most important decision that you'll make in the process of shopping for solar for your home. And in this video, I'm gonna rank the top five solar panels that are available to homeowners in 2025 and tell you why they may or may not be a good candidate for your home. So first up, let's talk about the Qcell Qpeak Duo G10 solar panel. Now, if you already have gotten bids for solar, you've likely been quoted this panel. And the reason is that it's become one of, if not the most commonly produced solar panel in America since 2022. Of all the manufacturers, of panels that we'll speak about, Qcell is by far the largest and has also done the most to bring their manufacturing for panels into America. The 400 watt version of the Qpeak Duo G10 comes in with an efficiency of 20.4%, a temperature coefficient of negative 0.34%, and guaranteed power of 86% at year 25. They offer a 25 year product warranty in the module, and the X factor for the panel is really going to be that is the best value solar panel in the market, meaning it offers a really good balance of high quality and competitive pricing. Aesthetically, it is a black on black solar panel, so it will have an overall sleek and modern appearance wherever installed. Moving on to number four, I want to talk about the Silfab Elite SIL 430BG+. The first thing that you'll notice about this panel compared to the last is that it is a 430 watt solar panel. Now, I'll be the first to say that just because a panel is a higher wattage does not make it a better solar panel. Wattage simply refers to the overall module power, and since most panels nowadays hover around the same module efficiency, to increase the total power, you just have to make a physically larger solar panel. Most residential solar panels that you'll find will be between 370 and 440 watts. And the reason is, is because it offers a good balance between moderate size, while also not making the panel too large to the point where it's difficult to install on small roof areas. If you're told by somebody that their solar panel is better because it's higher wattage than the others, that's simply not true. And it's just gonna be a bigger solar panel. Also, homeowners ultimately purchase solar on a price per watt basis, meaning you will not necessarily save money by purchasing a smaller amount, of higher wattage solar panels for your installation. It just does not work like that. Back to the Silfab Elite solar panel, this panel will have a power of 430 watts, an efficiency of 21.4%, and a temperature coefficient of negative 0.377%. The panel offers a guaranteed power of 90.8% at year 25, and this warranty in fact stretched out to year 30, at which point they will guarantee 89.3% power. Now, when judging solar panels, looking at the linear power warranty, meaning how much power the panel guarantees over 25 or 30 years is one of the best ways to judge the quality of a solar panel. All solar panels degrade in performance over time, but some are gonna degrade faster than others. And with panels nowadays lasting upwards of 40 to 50 years, long-term degradation is one of the most important things to consider when comparing different panel options. Again, this degradation guarantee is backed by warranties. So in the event that your panel has degraded more than expected amount, you would be entitled to no cost brand new replacement panels. When comparing this panel now to the Qcell G10, we can see that for all the ratings besides temperature coefficient, this panel excels, which is why I have it placed here at number four on my list. Moving on to number three, I want to speak about the Meyer Berger 385 watt solar panel. This panel was traditionally installed overseas in Europe, but as of recently is available to American homeowners thanks to their new manufacturing plant in Goodyear, Arizona. This panel offers some of the best combination of durability and temperature coefficient, making it a great panel option for places such as my home state of Florida. This panel offers module power of 385 watts, which again, just means this is going to be a slightly smaller panel, but that can be a plus when installing on smaller roof faces or on complicated rooftop architectures. The 385 watt Meyerberger black panel offers an efficiency of 20.9%, a temperature coefficient of negative 0.259%, and guaranteed power of 92% at year 25. They also offer a 25 year product warranty on the module. And the X factor is really gonna be what I mentioned earlier, which is that it is a great panel for tropical climates such as Florida, which can deal with high heat and extreme weather events. When I speak about temperature coefficient, I'm simply referring to how well the solar panel will produce when temperatures are not in optimal conditions. In the case of solar panels, they produce at max power with outside temperatures of 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And for every degree above that, they're slightly less efficient. What most people do not realize is that temperature coefficient comes out to being one of, if not the most important ratings when looking at solar panels, because in the summer months, when panels are producing at their highest levels, temperatures on roofs can exceed 120 to 140 degrees, impacting the power output of panels drastically. Now, why this panel lends itself to being a great option in places such as Florida is that it offers a low temperature coefficient for hot months of the year, and they've all done that while using what's called a glass on glass design, meaning the panel not only has a glass front sheet, but also a 
two-way glass back sheet. With the majority of residential panels, what you'll have is you'll have a glass front sheet, so a large piece of glass that protects the solar cells from the elements. And then under that panel, you might have a polyester or plastic back sheet. This can, however, make the panel more susceptible to cracking or damage as it's going to be more flimsy. So by Meyerberger having a glass glass design, they offer a very durable panel to homeowners who may live in places with large windstorms and extreme weather events, all while being a tier one panel in other ratings. When compared to both the QCell G10 and the Silfab BG430, we find that the Meyerberger has the lowest wattage of the bunch, but is superior in year 25 guaranteed power. The Silfab has the highest efficiency of the bunch, though we have two more panels to see. And by the way, guys, if you are in the process of shopping for different solar power options for your home and you need to get a price quote for one of these solar panel options, or maybe you already have some bids from solar installers and you'd simply like to receive a comparison bid just to see that you're going to get a good deal, feel free to reach out to us by using the link below the video and we would be happy to provide you with a free solar quote for your home. Coming in at number two, I want to revisit QCell, but now look at one of their newest residential panels, the QCell Qtron G2 430 watt panel. Now, do not confuse this with the QCell G10. The Qtron G2 is going to be QCell's latest solar panel product, which uses the latest generation Quantum Neo N-type solar cells. Now, with these N-type cells, QCells is able to achieve efficiency of 22%, making making it one of the most efficient solar panels on the market. But more importantly, QCells is now using within this panel gapless technology, meaning that the way that the solar panel is laid out, there are no gaps in between the solar cells. So virtually all the solar module surface is functional solar cells, and that's part of what contributes to it being such a higher module efficiency, making it more of a compact module to design with on roofs. This panel is also built for extreme weather conditions, boasting a snow rating of 8100 Pascal and a wind load rating of 3600 Pascal. This makes it a great panel option for places such as the Northeast, which may present adverse weather conditions such as snow or wind. The 430 watt version of this panel offers an efficiency of 22%, a temperature coefficient of negative 0.30%, and guaranteed power of 90.58% at the 25th year. Despite this module being slightly more expensive than their mass market G10 panel, it is going to be a great option for homeowners in northern states given the snow rating and also the innovative all-weather technology making it an efficient solar panel in low light conditions. When compared to the other three panels spoken about, this panel will offer the highest efficiency of the bunch, However, falls shortly behind the Meyer Burger in both temperature coefficient and linear power warranty. I do believe, however, that this panel can be one of the best panel options for a larger group of homeowners in places such as northern states, which is why I put it above the Meyer Burger, who's only best in select states such as Florida. We have one more to go, but if you think that there's a better panel that should be on this list, which I missed, feel free to comment it down below in the comments, and I'll try to respond to you and give you my thoughts. Last but not least, at number one, I want to talk about a panel that is talked about very much, and deservingly so, and that is going to be the REC 420 watt Alpha Pure 2 solar panel. Now, when taking into consideration the ratings, which I believe reflect a high quality solar panel, the REC Alpha Pure 2 solar panel is going to offer the best balance of each for most places around the country. Widely considered for a while and still to this day the best engineered solar panel, the REC Alpha Pure 2 panel comes out with a power output of 420 watts, an efficiency of 21.7%, and a temperature coefficient of negative 0.24%. The panel offers guaranteed power of 92% in year 25, tying for the best in the industry. And the REC does all of this while using 132 half cut heterojunction cells, all within a gapless technology panel, making it one of the most powerful panels on the residential market. Now, one of the ratings within a solar panel, which I glanced over, is going to be the panel's wattage at nominal module operating temperature, also called NMOT. You see, when solar panels are tested in the factory for wattage, they're tested at what are called standard testing conditions, which means they put the panel in a room, set the temperature to 77 degrees Fahrenheit, and then they put a large bulb over the panel with a radiance of 1,000 watts per square meter in order to test for the panel's wattage. Though this is somewhat of a naive way to test a solar panel for its wattage because in reality, conditions like this will never be that good. Therefore, some manufacturers will also test their panels at adverse operating conditions or NMOT, which stands for nominal module operating temperature. These ratings will instead reflect the panel's wattage when panels are brought into a room at 113 degrees Fahrenheit with a radiance of 800 watts per square meter shown over the panel. So in the end, when testing these conditions, we can get a better sense of how the panel will actually perform in real life scenarios. In the case of the REC Alpha Pure 2 panel, the 420 watt module has an NMOT rating of 320 watts, which comes out to being one of, if not the best ratings for similar panel wattages at STC. It can therefore be a great panel option for places such as California, Texas, and Arizona, which may present high temperatures in summer months and also act as a great panel option for residential rooftop installations in which only limited space is available. Finally, when compared to the other four panels on the list, 
we find that the REC 420 watt Alpha Pure 2 takes the lead with having the best temperature coefficient and then tying the Meyer Burger panel for highest guaranteed power at year 25. As I have mentioned throughout the video, however, the quote unquote best solar panel for your installation is going to be highly dependent upon where you live and really what you're looking to achieve with your solar panels. If you would like a proposal for your home with any of these solar panel options, again, feel free to reach out to us by using the link below in this video, and we would be happy to price out an installation proposal for your project with one of the installers that we work with in your area. While this video did give you some insight into the various solar panel options for 2025, if you are in the process of shopping for solar, you also need to make sure that you understand the common regrets that people have after purchasing solar for your home. So make sure you check them out video going over the five things that homeowners commonly regret after going solar, which will pop up at the screen now. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.